So hey, I've been asked to make a quick tutorial on um, an effect I did in one of the songs that I posted up on YouTube now. Um, it's similar to what would happen if you had like a LP record on a turntable and you're slowly starting it up or slowly speeding it down or slowing it down. Um, so we're going to have to use audio. Um, if you're using MIDI or something, you're going to have to bounce it into audio using the, the bounce buttons up here. Yeah. Um, so let's import something real quick. Is the vocals for tracking treasure down or should be In just one second here just get rid of that I guess I should have prepared this beforehand. Anywho, so we have this audio. Let's see if you can hear it. I know this will be something Yeah, let's just cut into there. So that you don't get that oh, don't get the beginning confused with the end. Or yeah, the effect. So this is where it should start. It'll be Something else. Just into regular vocals, but what we're gonna do um, it's in this first drop-down menu because you may have these two up here It's in this first one um, It says fade in we're actually gonna change that click on it change it to speed up And then over here we're gonna increase this number If you see immediately something or you know an orange section popped up over here and what that is is just showing We'll increase it a little more dramatically um, say a thousand Well it's just it, it's a curve going from down here to up there showing how it's gonna speed up something I remember in my head yeah um, it's not very dramatic because it's only the very beginning of it but if we increase it to like 10,000 or something well it should here we go you can see a better view of it Something I remember. <laughs> um, so you see how that works. Hopefully you could hear that. You can also put a curve into it to make a curve one way or uh, the other. Something I remember. Um, you can also at the end, because this, this first section is for the beginning of the audio file, this section down here has like the same things for the bottom section, or the end section, so you could also do it at the end. So if we increase this to that, a couple thousand again, a little curve or something, and then we move our way over to the end of this audio file, which is kind of long and, well, you get the picture. There's no actual audio there, so we won't hear anything, but... If there was audio, you'd hear a, a winding down, just like there would be a wind up. Um, this is just kind of a nice effect to you know, start songs or transition between one part and another. Um, or if you just want to kind of, I don't know, do whatever. Um, just an interesting thing about Logic, you can do that. So uh, I hope this helps. Have fun with it.